This is tofu meat. Now, I've made a lot of that in the past. I've done this technique where I've dehydrated, then rehydrated tofu to make a firmier, chewier tofu. I've done it a lot, and it comes out really good, but I don't want to stop experimenting to see what makes it even better. Now, this is silken tofu. It's commonly used in soups, dressings. It's used kind of like a creamy curd, just like what it is. It's super soft, and when you just put any sort of pressure on it, it completely breaks apart. So it's definitely not something that anyone would describe as meaty. But here I am thinking maybe I can make a kind of meat replacement out of it. And I think I can. In the past, I've taken the tofu and boiled it in a seasoned salted mixture to kind of flavor it up, maybe like a flavor broth. Uh, we're not gonna do that with the silken tofu. It's way too soft. It would just turn into a cream. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make two different variations. I wanna see which one actually comes out better. I'm gonna make like some chunks and I'm gonna make just flats, almost like, like it would be like your shaved meat. The end result that we're going for is maybe that fattier, denser, pork-like texture, something a little bit more denser to it. So let's get going. Now, for this test, I did the two. Like I said, I'm gonna slice one completely and layer it very nicely on the dehydration rack. But for the first one, what I did was I actually just pressed it and just crumbled it into a bunch of pieces. Now, once it's on the dehydrator rack, I actually wanna build the seasoning right into this. I figure some of that salt is gonna allow a lot of these seasonings to kind of penetrate through a little bit more while it's dehydrating. So we're gonna cover these with just a decent amount of salt, but you don't wanna go too heavy because there is gonna be some salt in the flavoring broth a little bit later on. Uh, uh, so for right now, we just want to start with some salt, a little bit of black pepper, and some garlic powder. That's going to give us the base flavor for this. Let's toss this on the dehydrator, 145 overnight. Now to give this its porky-like flavor, we have to bring in some sweet elements along with some savory and kind of like glutamate level elements. And to do that, our marinade is going to be soy sauce based. I am gonna be using a low sodium soy sauce. I usually use that for just about everything. Along with black vinegar. Now, if you haven't had black vinegar, you are missing out. It is really good. Uh, it kind of tastes like an A1 vinegar. Uh, so uh, if you don't have black vinegar, you can always just add a little bit of regular white vinegar and honestly, just a little dollop of, of steak sauce. Now we're gonna sweeten this up just a pinch with a little bit of maple syrup and then season it with some onion powder, garlic powder, and then we're gonna top it off with just a little bit of water to kind of fill up the rest of the jar. We're gonna mix this up and then just toss this in the fridge overnight. None of this is gonna really combine, but I just really want that onion garlic powder to kind of hydrate up and, and release some of that flavor into it. And now it's the next day and our tofu is really dehydrated. I mean, seriously dehydrated. That's the thing about silken. It's mostly moisture. So once we took that all away, there's not a whole lot left here besides pure protein. Now, I'm gonna take a little bit of my flavoring broth that got to like chill together, and then we're just gonna add the two together and just shake that up. Make sure it's just lightly coated. We're not gonna wanna soak these. We just wanna make sure there's enough moisture in there to penetrate and kind of hydrate these up a little bit. And now they're hydrated. So we just need to get a pan ready so we can cook this uh, I'm gonna use a little bit of sesame oil and some sunflower oil, just a little bit. I'm gonna toss in some red onions or whatever onion you got, along with the tofu. Now we're gonna start off with the crumble tofu. It, it looks really good, it's cooking up really good, but I am gonna go kind of low and slow on this because I do want it to soften up more. I did try a piece and it's still a little too firm. Now I have some pretty basic Asian noodles. They're just wheat pasta. I'm, I'm just gonna boil these up. Now these noodles specifically only take about three minutes. Now once they're done, I'm just gonna remove the noodles and save the water and just kind of keep it on a low heat because I want to boil it down to kind of create a thicker, starchy slurry, if you will. Now, once the tofu meat's cooked up, it's still a little bit dense. So at this point, I'm just going to take a little bit of that starchy slurry and toss it on and just uh, throw a cover on and allow that to kind of steam up with this. Now, the starch is going to help change the mouthfeel of the meat uh, while also allowing the noodles to stick to it uh, once, uh, once we get to that point. Now, I'm also going to toss in a little bit of the sauce. You don't have to do this. That's up to you. You can make your own sauce or whatever kind of barbecue sauce or noodles, stir fry sauce that you want. I'm not going to really fry the noodles here. I'm just going to toss them in. And that is it. I mean, this looks pretty good. The crumble meat looks pretty good and the sliced meat looks really good. So now I just want to see what does Monica have to say about this? Mm. Oh, this is good. Yeah, it's meaty. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh, it's really meaty. Okay. It's so, a good bite. What do you think? What am I going for here? I mean, maybe like kind of like a pork bacon-y type thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. I'm wanting kind of like a pork bit, you know, that we like break up. I mean... Yeah. Mm. Mm, no, it really hits the mark. Hmm. Well, that I'm gonna say is like also got kind of like a pork mm -hmm. bacony flavor, but it's a bit more. Um, I don't mean this in a bad way, but it's got kind of like a bit more of that fatty texture to it. I felt like 
the sliced smooth version, because of the texture and the way that it hydrated back up, kind of almost has the consistency and mouthfeel of like squid slices. Mm, mm -hmm, exactly. So if you flavored it different, Mm -hmm. It could be like, yeah, a calamari. Oh, calamari. There you go. Like, totally. Is it a win, baby? Oh, my God. Dinner? This was like win. last minute. This was like, this was like one of my favorites. Mm. Okay. It's really good. Well, that's it. Which one do you want? I'll keep this one. Okay. Well, let's go, baby. Let's go to the table. Okay. See you later.